Good morning, friends. My name is Jason Sisk Provencio, and I'm the pastor at the United Church of Christ Congregational on Los Osos Valley Road. And I'm here on this Thursday morning with a peace nugget. I'm going to be sharing a UCC daily devotional from a couple days ago, um, one written by Kenneth Samuel. And he's the pastor at the Victory for the World Church, which is a UCC church in Stone Mountain, Georgia. And he is reflecting on John 8, 25 and 28, which says, Who are you? they demanded. So Jesus said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man on the cross, then you will understand that I am he. And listen to what Kenneth Samuel says. Uh, has to say. Self-appointed messiahs are prevalent everywhere. The pressing questions are always, who's the imposter? Who's the fake? The contemporaries of Jesus, especially the religious authorities, had a lot of questions about Jesus' identity. Why did he claim to be one with God? Did he consider himself to be greater than Abraham, the father of Israel? How could he, a mere carpenter's son, be the Messiah? I see a good morning from Kay. Good morning, Kay, and welcome, and thank you for the sunshine. The sun is creeping out here, starting to warm up. Jesus' definitive response to these questions didn't direct people to the claims he made of himself, as glorious as those claims were. Jesus instead directed his inquisitors to the sacrifice that he would make at Calvary. The sacrifices that we are willing to make for the causes we claim to believe in say more about who we are than any of our self-assertions. Kenneth Samuel says, I ran into a lot of opposition and a bombardment of questions when I first began teaching and preaching in favor of women's and LGBTQ plus equality. In one contentious meeting with church officers, I was told that my preaching in support of women's and LGBTQ plus equality would necessitate deep cuts into our church budget, beginning with my own salary and benefits. I responded that I understood but the cuts in my salary and benefits would not alter the convictions of my preaching. In response to that, one deacon stood and said, If you are willing to sacrifice your own salary and benefits for this, then there must be something to it. The crosses we bear are indeed more self-disclosing than the self-assertions uh, that we make. And he offers this prayer. God, let the sacrifices we make for what we believe, tell the world who we really are. Amen. And dear friends, um, I believe he's, he's exactly right. The sacrifices that we make uh, right now, the sacrifices for our family, for our faith communities, uh, for our own futures, uh, they reveal more about who we really are and what we really value and believe. Um, they are expressed more clearly in our sacrifices than in our beliefs or our words. And friends, I see the sacrifices that you are making right now. And I see who you really are. And that is God's beloved daughter, son, child. Um, this is a challenging time. We're all making sacrifices, but it's revealing that we choose love right now. Everyone, I wish you grace and peace and health today. I invite you to pray for my friend Dee Dee for strength and for healing. I see a good morning from my mom who says, good morning, Pastor. Mom, you can call me Jason. You don't have to call me Pastor. I love you, Mom. Good morning. All right, friends, take good care of yourselves today, and I will see you again uh, tomorrow morning for another Peace Nugget. Take good care. Bye-bye.